in this video we are going to learn about how the values of sine and cosine functions are changed if we change their arguments we shall try to understand this concept with the help of the unit circle unit circle a unit circle is a circle whose center is at the origin and whose radius is equal to 1 unit in the figure the yellow dot is at the center of the circle that lies on the origin the red line is one of the radii of the circle which is equal to 1 unit representative lines of sine and cosine functions in the figure the red line is the radius of the circle which is equal to 1 unit it makes an angle theta with the x axis the blue line is a horizontal line that represents cosine of angle theta the green line is a vertical line that represents sine of the angle theta cosine and sine of 0 degrees in the figure the red line is the radius of the circle which is equal to 1 unit it makes an angle theta equal to 0 degree with the x axis the horizontal blue line that represents cosine of the angle is also equal to radius of circle which is 1 so cos of 0 degree is equal to 1 the vertical green line that represents sine of angle is missing in this figure it means its length is 0 so sine of 0 degrees is 0 cosine and sine of 30 degrees in the figure the red line is the radius of the circle which is equal to 1 unit it makes an angle theta equal to 30 degrees with the x axis the horizontal blue line that represents cosine of the angle is equal to half of square root of 3 so cos of 30 degrees is equal to half of square root of 3 the vertical green line that represents sine of angle is equal to 1 by 2 so sine of 30 degrees is equal to 1 by 2 cosine and sine of 45 degrees In the figure the red line is the radius of the circle which is equal to 1 unit it makes an angle theta equal to 45 degrees with the x axis the horizontal blue line that represent cosine of the angle is equal to half of square root of 2 so cos of 45 degrees is equal to half of square root of 2 The vertical green line that represents sine of angle is equal to half of square root of 2 as well. So, sine of 45 degree is equal to half of square root of 2. Cosine and sine of 60 degrees. In the figure, the red line is the radius of the circle which is equal to 1 unit. it makes an angle theta equal to 60 degrees with the x axis the horizontal blue line that represents cosine of the angle is equal to 1 by 2 so cos of 60 degrees is equal to 1 by 2 the vertical green line that represents sine of angle is equal to half of square root of 3 so sine of 60 degrees is equal to half of square root of 3 cosine and sine of 90 degrees in the figure the red line is the radius of the circle which is equal to 1 unit 
it makes an angle theta equal to 90 degrees with the x-axis. The horizontal blue line that represents cosine of the angle is missing in this figure. It means it is equal to 0. So cos of 90 degrees is 0. The vertical green line that represents sine of angle is also equal to radius of circle which is 1. So sine of 90 degrees is 1. Cosine and sine of 120 degrees. In the figure, the red line is the radius of the circle which is equal to 1 unit. It makes an angle theta equal to 120 degrees with the x-axis. The horizontal blue line that represents cosine of the angle is equal to minus 1 by 2. So cos of 120 degrees is equal to minus 1 by 2. The vertical green line that represents sine of angle is equal to half of square root of 3. So sine of 120 degrees is half of square root of 3. Cosine and sine of 135 degrees. In the figure, the red line is the radius of the circle which is equal to 1 unit. It makes an angle theta equal to 135 degrees with the x-axis. The horizontal blue line that represents cosine of the angle is equal to minus square root of 2 by 2. So cos of 135 degrees is equal to minus square root of 2 by 2. The vertical green line that represents sine of angle is equal to half of square root of 2. So sine of 135 degrees is equal to half of square root of 2. Cosine and sine of 150 degrees. In the figure, the red line is the radius of the circle which is equal to 1 unit. It makes an angle theta equal to 150 degrees with the x-axis. The horizontal blue line that represents cosine of the angle is equal to minus square root of 3 by 2. So cos of 150 degrees is equal to minus square root of 3 by 2. The vertical green line that represents sine of angle is equal to 1 by 2. So sine of 150 degrees is equal to 1 by 2. Cosine and sine of 180 degrees. In the figure, the red line is the radius of the circle which is equal to 1 unit. It makes an angle theta equal to 180 degrees with the x-axis. The horizontal blue line that represents cosine of the angle is equal to minus 1. So cos of 180 degrees is equal to minus 1. The vertical green line that represents sine of angle is missing in this figure. It means its length is 0. So sine of 180 degrees is equal to 0. Cosine and sine of 210 degrees. In the figure, the red line is the radius of the circle which is equal to 1 unit. It makes an angle theta equal to 210 degrees with the x-axis. The horizontal blue line that represents cosine of the angle is equal to minus square root of 3 by 2. So cos of 210 degrees is equal to minus square root of 3 by 2. The vertical green line that represents sine of angle is equal to minus 1 by 2. So sine of 210 degrees is equal to minus 1 by 2. 
कोसाइन एंड साइन ऑफ 225 हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेंटी फाइव डिग्रीज इन द फिगर द रेड लाइन इज द रेडियस ऑफ द सर्कल विच इज इक्वल टू वन यूनिट इट मेक्स एन एंगल थीटा इक्वल टू टू हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेंटी फाइव डिग्रीज विद दी एक्स एक्सेस द होरिजेंटल ब्लू लाइन दैट रिप्रेजेंट कोसाइन ऑफ द एंगल इज इक्वल टू माइनस के रूट ऑफ टू बाई टू So cos of 225 degrees is equal to minus square root of 2 by 2. The vertical green line that represents sine of angle is equal to minus square root of 2 by 2. So sine of 225 degrees is equal to minus square root of 2 by 2. Cosine and sine of 240 degrees. In the figure, the red line is the radius of the circle, which is equal to one unit. It makes an angle theta equal to 240 degrees with the x-axis. The horizontal blue line that represents cosine of the angle is equal to minus one by two. So, cos of 240 degrees is equal to minus one by two. The vertical green line that represents sine of angle is equal to minus square root of three by two. So sine of two hundred and forty degrees is equal to minus square root of three by two. Cosine and sine of two hundred and seventy degrees. In the figure, the red line is the radius of the circle, which is equal to one unit. It makes an angle theta equal to 270 degrees with the x-axis. The horizontal blue line that represents cosine of the angle is missing in this figure. It means it is equal to zero. So cos of 270 degrees is equal to zero. The vertical green line that represents sine of angle is equal to minus one. So sine of 270 degrees is equal to minus one. <coughs> Cosine and sine of 300 degrees. In the figure, the red line is the radius of the circle, which is equal to one unit. It makes an angle theta equal to 300 degrees with the x-axis. The horizontal blue line that represents cosine of the angle is equal to one by two. So cos of three hundred degrees is equal to one by two. The vertical green line that represents sine of angle is equal to minus square root of three by two. So sine of three hundred degrees is equal to minus square root of three by two. Cosine and sine of 315 degrees. In the figure, the red line is the radius of the circle, which is equal to one unit. It makes an angle theta equal to 315 degrees with the x-axis. The horizontal blue line that represents cosine of the angle is equal to half of square root of two. So cos of 315 degrees is equal to half of square root of 2. The vertical green line that represents sine of angle is equal to minus square root of 2 by 2. So sine of 315 degrees is equal to minus square root of 2 by 2. Cosine and sine of 330 degrees. In the figure, the red line is the radius of the circle, which is equal to one unit. It makes an angle theta equal to 330 degrees with the x-axis. The horizontal blue line that represents cosine of the angle is equal to half of square root of three. So cos of 330 degree is equal to half of square root of three. The vertical green line. That represents sine of angle is equal to minus one by two. So sine of three hundred and thirty degrees is equal to minus one by two.
cosine and sine of 360 degrees. In the figure, the red line is the radius of the circle which is equal to 1 unit. It makes an angle theta equal to 360 degrees with the x-axis. The horizontal blue line that represents cosine of the angle is also equal to radius of circle which is 1. So cos of 360 degree is 1. The vertical green line that represents sine of angle is missing in this figure. It means its length is 0. So sine of 360 degrees is 0. In the figure, the red rays or terminal rays of different angles like 0 degree, 30 degrees, 45 degrees, etc. The blue numbers are the values of cosine of different angles. The green numbers are the values of sine of different angles. All the values of cosine are positive on the right hand side of y axis and negative on the left. All the values of sine are positive above x axis and negative below x axis. The values of cosine and sine at end points of any of the diameters of unit circle are same but opposite in sign. Zero is the exceptional case. In the figure, the values of sine are zero on the x-axis and change gradually towards y-axis. The values of cosine are zero on y-axis and change gradually towards x-axis. The values of cosine are zero on y-axis, one on positive x-axis and minus one on negative x-axis. The values of sine are 0 on x-axis, 1 on positive y-axis and minus 1 on negative y-axis. The minimum value that sine or cosine function can have is minus 1. The maximum value that sine or cosine function can have is 1. And this is the end of this video. Thank you for being with me. Stay happy. Goodbye.